Is that one of the uh, uglier games you've been involved in in a while? Or? Foul play. Joe floating deep. Shot 36 free throws. I understand at the end of foul. Just too many fouls. This is probably the fifth game that they've shot. The opponent shot over 30 free throws. And we're not that bad defensively. You just talk about what you guys were able to do in the second half to kind of get back in the game a little bit. You know, I thought we played pretty good defense. It's a high scoring, high power team with really good guards and athletic big men. I mean, Richardson and Paul, I mean, they're terrific. Uh, so we did, our best, or we did our best to try to slow those guys down. They you only know, made shots. It was a lot easier when you make a couple shots and you still only score 59 points. But for us to make eight threes is, is huge. Yes, sir. Uh, obviously, the wins aren't there, but you guys have played better the past couple games. Is there something with your team right now that's going well, or can you put your finger on it? You know, our, our, um, our big's playing really well for us, Sasha. It's the third game in a row. He's done some really good things. He's playing with great confidence, and we're giving him the ball. So that opens things up a little bit more for other guys. And I think uh, we're just sharing the ball more. Uh, obviously, our assist don't show that, but I felt like we got the ball side to side and we looked inside as often as we could. I just want to say John Roach is doing a great job. I mean, his energy, his fire, his enthusiasm, they're always playing with a lot more toughness and defensive minded. They're doing a really good job. Thanks. Really proud of our guys grinding it out. It's kind of grinded. You know, I thought that each guy that played made a play or two that contributed to the win. Um, you know, whether it's Nana Steele, I thought was a big momentum changer in the dunk, got it to three plus possessions. I thought Sam was really good defensively. I thought Brandon Paul, two back to back games now, was dynamite uh, defensively with his effort and energy and the plays he made. And DJ making free throws late. Tracy's big layup at the end of the clock. Um, you know, Henry's big three uh, when the game was hanging in the balance. You know, and you, you can go right down the line on all those guys. Bertrand rebounding, keeping balls active. I thought Henry got to the foul line in the first half because he went to the offensive glass. They held. Um, you know, you could go right down the line. I thought we got contributions from everybody that made a play or two. Um, I got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, they were physical. They played hard. They played with a lot of passion. And as Sam and I were talking coming up, I mean, this would go away. I mean, they kept fighting. They made some big threes late to kind of close the gap. And, and uh, they fought. I love their attitude and their disposition and their passion. I saw it in the, in the last two games that they have played with Iowa and Michigan. Um, there's no question. I, I told Pat after the game, I, 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 I and you can see them getting better. I, I love their their energy level and the passion that they that they play with, and they've done that through some adversity. So I really appreciate that uh, in terms of their body language and how they how they played today. You know, they certainly had a lot uh, to do with it. The game was an odd game with 52 fouls called. There wasn't much flow to the game. Um, so sometimes as a player, you got to kind of adjust. Coach, you got to adjust a little bit. You know, but nonetheless, uh, we grinded it out, made some plays. Uh, we'll take a look at it tomorrow. You know, we made some mistakes. Uh, we did. We'll take a look, try to clean those up, and work to get better the next two days heading into Sunday's Michigan game in Ann Arbor. Good Questions for the players? Yeah, for Brandon and Sam here. Sam, uh, can you just speak to uh, kind of how ugly that game was? Coach kind of touched on with all the fouls. Did it seem like that way you guys were up there playing? Uh, yeah, for a second there, it seemed like uh, every possession down was a foul, you know, so uh, that definitely uh, uh, disrupted our rhythm a little bit. But um, like I said, give them credit, and those guys played hard for 40 minutes. And, um, they definitely need to get better for six goes on. For both of you guys, what's that say about you guys that you can win a game like this and you can win a game where you score 80 or 90 points? I think it just shows our maturity, you know. I think they had a little rough stretch we had. You know, people started down us, and we just kept fighting, you know. Every day we came and we competed. And uh, you know you can't you can't just show up uh, one game and compete you know like Indiana or you know Minnesota or around the road you got to show up every game and um, we knew this was going to be a, a fight you know that like coach said they've been getting better you know the record doesn't really show how hard they play and uh, they definitely improved you know the coach does a great job getting them amped up you can tell it's not all bluff you know they they truly believe that they can win and uh, 
it's going to be scary to see them in the future for you know the big time, but you know, it's just a testament to our uh, maturity. Sam, how frustrating was it to have that dunk called off on that inbounds play? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of frustrating, man. I thought that was uh, one of my first sports center moments. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, it happens, so just move on. Do you think he was going to get to it? What was that? Do you think he was going to get to it? <laughs> I don't know, no, I was, uh, I was hoping he got to it. When I went in, I saw the rep with the whistle, and he put his hand up, and I was like, oh, this is going to go the other way, watch. And I was just like, oh, I feel bad for Sam. <laughs> Brandon, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to be active, you know. Uh, a lot of people, you know, when they look at the end games, or they're watching, they're seeing how much points people score. And it's not all about points, you know, it's the little things. And I think we've been playing well lately because our defense has been a lot better uh, in this the last few uh, weeks that we've been playing. And uh, I just wanted to do something to help my team, you know, other than just try to put the ball in the basket. So I think my uh, defensive intensity has been up, and I think the team's defensive intensity has definitely been improving. I don't even know what. What is that? I reached a milestone than like. Top 1,500 top points. Oh, oh. I have no idea, man. I guess it's cool. Um, <laughs> I think it's better that we got the win. Uh, so that's definitely something to look forward to. You know, we're, uh, we're 500 the Big Ten, and uh, we've got Michigan coming up, so we're going to definitely prepare for them in the next two days. Hey, hey, Brandon, after you got the five-second call early in the first half, Terry Oglesby was giving you some kind of warning, I think. Uh, do you remember that at all? Do you know what it was about? Um, you mean like right after the play? Yeah. Oh, I, I looked at him, I said, you said four, and I tried to pass, and you blew the whistle. I was kind of joking with him, he's like, I don't know, I don't remember what he said, whatever. <laughs> so we won the game. <laughs> you guys, I mean, at two and seven, this was, you know, looking like a, a tough situation. How did you guys sort of, you know, keep it together and, and, and get to where you are in a tough league? Um, I think it's just, you know, the, the type of staff we have, they won't let us get down on ourselves. You know, every day we come in, uh, you know, they stay late. They compete with us, you know. They're they're always uh, trying to get us better, and uh, when we come to them, and our guys, we compete together. And uh, you know, a lot of people had uh, like they didn't believe in us, so that's, that was a little bit more motivation, a little bit more motivational factor for us. So we, we just knew that you know it would turn up sometime. So we just uh, we kept riding. We we didn't change anything in our schedule or anything like that. We kept playing, and uh, you know we've had this great uh, stretch. Of life. Um, for the rest of you, you guys said that players only need how much do you think that can help you along the practice I think it helped. Uh, you know, guys, just, we just wanted to make sure guys are on the same page. Um, I think more, it's just uh, the way we compete on a daily basis. You know, we compete consistently in practice. You know, we might have a drill or two that might be not as, uh, as good as we want, but uh, for the majority of it, we just we come in with the mindset, you know, today we got to get better because there's someone else getting better. You know, our opponent the next day is going to be getting better. So. You know, I, got, I think the guys do a great job of getting in the gym as well, you know, on days off, you know, uh, whether it's getting treatment or sh shots at watching the film. You know, we got a lot of guys that are maturing at a high level, so that's something that it, it goes a long way. Sam, is this your first trip to Ann Arbor? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I would assume. I, just talk about what you know about that program historically and also about what they're doing this year and how you feel about going in there. Um, well, you know, uh, only thing I've known about the past uh, for Michigan is, uh, you know, Fab Five. Um, but uh, this year's team, um, you know, they're pretty good. They beat us here uh, early on in the year, but um, we just felt like we didn't play that well uh, at that time. And um, this time around, we're hoping that we'll play a lot better and uh, have a good outcome. Brandon, you seem like you've frustrating moments with the offense there in the second half. The shots weren't falling, things weren't working off. But you seem yourself seem a little frustrated at certain moments. What, what was going on through your mind at that point? Um, you know, it's always tough uh, when you're a scorer and you're not putting the ball in the basket. You know, I think I was more frustrated with missing free throws. You know, I, I feel like I'm a great free throw shooter and, uh, you know, I'm better than what I uh, kind of played tonight. But, you know, Coach, every time we came in the huddle, you know, guys weren't doing things uh, as well as they wanted to. Coach was saying, make the next play. You know, it's over. You can't get it back. You know, forget about everything that happened before this moment. Just keep playing. And I definitely think that helped us down the stretch. Brandon's always close with Penn State. Yeah. So, yeah, I was telling uh, Jim Jackson that I had a little interview with him. Uh, every year, you know, we, I told the guys, you know, the new guys coming in, you know, this is gonna, it's going to be a, it's going to be a rough one. Just keep grinding it out, keep playing, and uh, have the mindset that we got to finish it out. And uh, 
you know, we have guys that make plays, and uh, we find a way to win at the end. You know, uh, like I like we talked about before, you know, they're they're a good team. You know, their record obviously doesn't show how hard they play and how hard they compete. And you know, on the court, they're so amped up. You know, it kind of motivates you. So, so uh, you know, they're well coached. They're gonna be a good team. Is that all for the players? You let them go. Continue questions for Coach. John, your your thoughts about how you guys have sort of you know put things together in this five game stretch? Um, it's been kind of a blur, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I'm so good or bad, you know, one track minded, just, you know, what's in front of us, what can we control now. Um, I think Brandon's right. I mean, I think we've practiced, you know, for the most part, really well. Um, guys have bought into getting better, which is huge, learning. Um, I give our assistant coaches a lot of credit, and they help create an environment where it's a, you know, I think our guys, Brandon said it, you know, they even wander around and come in and see us when we have our day off. You know, they, you know, we like being around one another. Uh, I think the assistant coaches do a great job of creating an environment where guys can learn and, and you know, we're teaching and getting better. I think that's the biggest thing, Herb, is that we never, you know, really got away from what we do. You know, Brandon mentioned that. We just, we continued to do the same thing and approach things the same way and stay even keel. and. I think at the end of the day, I think that that helped. I think the players fed off of that. This one of those situations where it was wasn't pretty, but you know, I got apologized for it. I get back one of those yeah, no things. doubt. I mean, and I can give them a lot of credit. I mean, I'm not going to sit up here and say we were awful. I mean, I think we made some mistakes. We got to clean up, but you know, they had a lot to do with it. Now, I mean, they fought, they battled. You know, they all the way to the end. They made some tough shots there at the end. They kept playing, they kept playing, they kept playing. They played all the way to the horn. I saw that in the last two games that they had played. Um, you know, they, their, their enthusiasm is amazing. Um, their energy level, Brandon's right. I mean, they just play so hard. They're physical, they're tough. They, you know, and I admire all that through the midst of, uh, uh, midst of some adversity, Marcus, where, you know, I think it shows a lot about their character. The difficulty in playing a game when there's so many whistles and so many stoppages. Well, I think it's just hard to get in the flow, Mark. Uh, I said that earlier. Uh, and I'm not, you know, the game's officiated, not officiated. We had three, you know, great officials on the game tonight. It just happened to be one of those games where it was, you know, called that way. And 52 fouls were called. I think it's hard for players to get in any type of flow. Um, I think it is what, what it is. We, we've got to control the ones where we, we, we foul too much. I said that I think maybe a week ago. You know, we've got to play harder without uh, fouling. Does winning a game like this with so many whistles and no flow, does that really help your team and their mindset as we went forward? Um, you know, I think right now they've bought in at such a high level to the one-day approach I was mentioning earlier. Uh, obviously, they they want to win just like everybody else. Our deal is we want to control, we control, and play well. If we play well, all the things that they want to have a chance to happen or that, that people talk about, you know, those are those become byproducts of all that. If you don't play well, then you know you decrease your chances of winning, and then you decrease your chances of doing some things that they'd like to do. <laughs> You know, it's really that simple. You know, so we're, we're more focused on us playing well right now. Um, and I, I think that's that served us well, and we're going to continue to move down that path. Jen, you're really harping on getting to the glass in the second half. What, what yeah. did you see what was, what was going on? Well, I mean, I thought we were active on the offensive glass, Jeremy, but we gave them, I'll be honest with you, I think most of their points in the second half until they made some of those threes at the end were because we either fouled or we had a good defensive stop brewing and we gave up a rebound. I thought free throw points and rebound second chance points kill us in the second half. Now I'll watch the film to figure out, uh, that's my feeling. I don't know what the exact totals were, but you know, we, we've got to play harder without fouling. We've got to block out better. We've got to snatch rebounds better than what we did. But I thought on the offensive glass, I thought we were active. In fact, we drew a couple fouls just going to the glass where guys held us 
they call a foul, they get two free throws because of their extra effort going to the offensive glass. You know, Henry got one, I think Sam got a couple like that. You know, we need to continue to, you know, we will to emphasize that. I think we got some guys that do a good job of going to the offensive glass. Which would you do to motivate Brandon to play so hard on defense? I think maybe just kind of, uh, you know, letting him know I believe in him at such a high level. Um, I really do, and I, I think the last couple games, he's really, you know, Sunday's game at Northwestern, and then this one, I thought he was lights out. I mean, he made play after play tonight defensively, especially in the first half. And I think he's pretty good in the second half, too, but you know, he made some big-time plays. The loose ball play at half court was big play, you know, charge, big play. I mean, he just sacrificed his body right now, playing uh, with a sense of urgency on that end. Um, I've said this before, you know, seniors die hard. Coach, you get a win in Ann Arbor. What do you need to see out of the team that you didn't see from them tonight? Well, each game's different, you know. You, that's the one thing I've learned. I mean, they're all an entity within themselves. So, you know, we'll take a look at the film for the first time. Obviously, I haven't done that. My staff has. I'll have a meeting with uh, uh, the initial folder given to me here tonight. I'll read through it tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I'll have a staff meeting, and we'll go through it uh, with a fine-tooth comb and see what we need to do. And, Try to put a game plan together that gives us the best chance to uh, be successful. Um, you know, I know the first time that we played and we didn't shoot the ball particularly well. We got to look at the film tomorrow and you know see how many of those were good execution and we just happened to miss. How many of them were you know we we didn't execute as well as we wanted to. And we you know so we'll, we'll take a look at it. Um, defensively, we were just okay in that game. I think we can you know be better, but you know we got we got to play well. You know, we got to do what we do. We got to do it really well. We got to do it at a high level. I mean, they're such, they're, they're, they're a great team. Great team. Anything else for Coach? Thanks.